Well, all new at noon, Opera Birmingham is gearing up for to kick off its 2022-2023 season. Tickets are actually on sale right now. We have General Director Keith Wolf Hughes joining us now with what all we can expect in this upcoming season. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So the pandemic, it's been a wild ride for pretty much everyone, specifically for performing arts and theater. As we kind of come back from this pandemic, how did you guys approach putting together this new season all together again? Well, we really wanted to try to blend the best of both worlds, continuing or bringing back some of the performances we haven't been able to do in our traditional theaters, but then also continuing some of the new programs we launched during the pandemic. We had such a positive response to the events we did around town, we, we really had to keep those moving. So this year we're going to have a children's opera, our pop-up concerts will be back around the community, and we're going to have another opera that's been, that hasn't been done in Birmingham in about 40 years. Wow, so tell us a little bit about some of the shows that y'all have planned for this new season. So in October, we have our new annual children's opera, which will be Little Red's Most Unusual Day um, at Avondale Park, uh, in which Little Red and Granny try to outsmart the Big Bad Wolf. Um, in December, we have our Sounds of the Season holiday concert at Sanford University in Brock Recital Hall, which is always a uh, community favorite, usually sells out. In January, we have a chamber opera called DWB, which we were originally su supposed to perform last January. We've moved it to this year. Um, hopefully we won't get stuck with the p pandemic again. <laughs> and then in the spring in April, um, we have a production of Hansel and Gretel coming to the stage, sort of continuing some of our fairy tale theme uh, this season. And y'all go way beyond the stage. You get out in the community. What is some of the stuff that we can expect from you guys out in our community in Birmingham? So one of the things we started during the pandemic that had such a positive response was doing what we call opera shots, which are pop-up concerts that we do around town. So this year we'll have three concerts in the fall and then three concerts in the spring. These are free. People are just welcome to come and join us. Uh, we know our first concert will be here at our opera offices near Avondale Park on Thursday, September 25th. And so we encourage our fans to bring some refreshments and enjoy a happy hour concert with us. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're working with some of our community partners to finalize the details for the rest of them, including a holiday sing-along in December. And then we're going to end our season again this year with a big street party downtown at the Collins Bar. A very exciting season ahead. Real quick before we go, where can people learn more about the season and get tickets and all that good stuff? So we'll have all the information on our website, operabirmingham.org. You can find the details for our shows. We'll have information about our pop-up concerts uh, and tickets go on sale today. So it's the perfect time to get your seats before some of our concerts start to sell out. All right, Keith, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks. Have a great day. You